Having covered politics for nearly 15 years, I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but nothing quite like the ongoing drama in the Colorado Republican Party. A week ago, the Central Committee voted to oust party chair Dave Williams and replace him with Eli Bremer. But Williams has refused to leave, so Bremer filed a lawsuit calling him a squatter and asking the court to evict him. Williams' supporters filed a counter lawsuit claiming the vote was illegitimate and calling Bremer a squatter, hack, and identity thief. Tick, this is just, I mean, it's just so embarrassing. Embarrassing for the it party. Is. It's just, it's nuts. You know, really, it's like a soap opera. You know, Williams has been the center of one controversy after yes. another. Does he really have that much support? And how, how do you see this ending? Probably in the courts, or the Republican National Committee will intervene, like they did in Michigan, when a Dave Williams lookalike in um, Michigan got elected, and the party central committee removed her, and then um, uh, the RNC had to come in and say, "Get out! You're you're gone." So they had to intervene. But Sean, this is Labor Day weekend. This is the time when you really kick in your get out the vote effort that, that you've been building throughout the, 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 the political cycle. Presumably. Nothing is going on in the Colorado Republican Party because Dave Williams has spent all his time attacking other Republicans, impugning the integrity and the reputation of his predecessor, Christy Burton Brown, of, 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 of attacking gays and lesbians, of, of, um, of intervening in primaries, spending party money on his own campaign. I mean, he has been doing everything but what a state chairman should be doing. And it's, 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 it's more than embarrassing. It's just flat out disgusting and, um, and irresponsible. And this guy will go down in history as the, as the worst state chair of either party uh, in Colorado history. There's no doubt about it. And I don't know where it's going to end. It will probably continue right through the election, Frank. But it's a fight that needs to happen. Yeah. Mike, what impact do you see this having on the November election? Well, I think Dix has said it all, really. <laughs> I mean, but uh, a few things. I mean, uh, there are some competitive races out there. Uh, and we are just one seat away in the state Senate, uh, the, the, the Colorado State Senate, from a veto-proof majority. We already mm -hmm. have it in the, in the state house. And so the Republicans are trying to avoid, one, they want to avoid a veto-proof majority probably over in the state Senate and would like to get a little more equity over in the state house. And uh, as Dick pointed out, the party's not helping their candidates. And we've seen that out there in the public already, that candidates are like, hey, we're, we're flying on our own. There's no help from the state party.